Hello, Rockal here. Welcome back to another video of Black Ops 2 Zombies. Called Black Ops 2 Zombies. I already did this video, M failed miserably. I did three tries and gave up. And also to told the whole story that how I understood it because um, the videos that people made about guides. They're such shite. They actually think that you know everything about the map before you even play it. People like me that I don't understand the map, I don't know the point of this map, I wanted to see what to do. So I kind of figured out some, some parts of it and I'm gonna explain to you while I go. I need to do solo because I doubt that anybody's playing this game now. So basically these are not four maps that you need to first map, second map, third map and then you unlock this one. Nope, that's not how that works. Um it's I don't know. I guess you can put a survival so you start here or whatever. I don't know what the, this point is. But basically this this is the location that you go with the van. You go this direction like so. So yeah. Okay, let's try i'm gonna actually not gonna try to do all the secret things that you can do i'm just gonna try to open the end at least show you the most about the, about the map like i didn't the last time i didn't so i'm gonna jump in so the first thing you need to do is build a mannequin and that helps you open the doors that you need power to open and so i don't know if they're gonna be able to be open after you have the power but it would help whatever so let's hope i can do something better this time than my other free rounds that i went so th the first mistake i made the first time was um, to get this place lit up. it was that i tried to build this before killing any zombies I'm because no if you remember last time when i shot the zombie nothing happened and you need to be careful because you're too shot <laughs> every single time couldn't do this okay I'm gonna take this coin these are the three things that you need to build this and then you take it and you place it in front of this door that you need power and that's how you can save some money to open this you can get the ladder here for some reason that I still don't know do this quickly because you're gonna get overrun real quickly okay and then you go to the car go again S start him up to do the thing so it, he can drive you around you can walk if you want for the mess it's nothing that special if you you don't you just go go yes I hear a zombie but I cannot Shoot that. Just go. So I used I bought this gun if you remember last time that I saw it in the end screen. Ah, oh, the zombies didn't attack. Okay. Because it's a really good gun, especially defending the bus. Well, I'm gonna explain as much as I can. I watched many tutorials. Like literally many. Um, also some playthroughs I tried to watch but they take too long because they're not doing the actual thing they're just doing stuff but what do you mean woman so this is the area you can find a piece that you can get right there you can see that engine that's what we're gonna need ah fire zombie the boom boom man so now we know one part where it is it's in the mist so I'm gonna have to Don't touch me. It's very easy to kill zombies that are climbing the car. You can also kill the zombies behind you so they don't get to the car. Stupinger? Okay, now I'm playing as this woman. You don't worry about the lava and stuff like that, it's nothing that serious. And this is where you basically you're gonna have to be. You can also make a she zombie shield using a door and another piece that I couldn't find for the life of me. Here's the door. And basically put it here. And basically there is another item that you need that you get somewhere. 
that I didn't find anywhere. And I still won't find it. Oh, that's the ladder. I don't know what this ladder is for. Maybe it's for this door. I think, uh, who knows? Things are tight till payday, fellas. Misty's dead. Where is the zombie? I don't have enough. At any point, I'm probably gonna have to leave this area. But I was hoping to get at least one thing. You can open this door with this as well. You put it here. You open and you get an item. Right here. Oh, this time it didn't spawn here. Okay, this is where the car goes. I'm gonna wait for the car to drive and then I'm gonna jump in. Yes, just start going because you're above lava and I don't want to step on that lava because it makes me blind. When he's here, just jump in. Voila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time we missed the bus. Thank you, thank you. And also, you can refill by buying it again from here and it's cheaper. Of course. When you just buy bullets. Stupid jerk! Go around the bus and see if there's any zombies hiding back there. So now we're gonna go to the farm, to that other area that I told you about. I'm gonna run out of bullets. Where is it? Here. I'm gonna buy more bullets. Okay. This is a new area. That wasn't here yet. So you need to open this door. Okay, where am I? Yeah, of course. Things are tight till payday, fellas. Misty's dead broke. And last time I, I was playing as a guy, and now I'm playing as the. Where are you? Sound literally on top of me. But you're not. You're there. Shut up. Yes, I don't know what this area even is. I never seen this area before. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I can have an, a, a gun. Oh yeah, you can get these things by using this and then you can buy a drink. Because this gives you, gives you power, but I don't have money to get this. I guess I got the weapon that I cannot even use. That's bullshit. Let's hope we don't get overrun because I'm too hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill, baby. Chill, chill. You can get overrun really easily. I guess this is not the area that I'm supposed to be. I didn't hear the horn or anything. There's another area, I guess, that I missed. Okay, let's just go into the car. Go to the next area, buddy. Nice to not have to clear all the dead wood. Yeah, let's go. So that helps if you want to get faster to the next area. I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna go. And nobody ever went here. Do any of these? Did he close the doors? Nice. Thank you. Carpenter! I thank you. My wrist. Thank you. I guess I got the carpenter. Okay, we should get to the next area. I don't know if it's the bank or it's the actual where you can open the power or whatever. So this is the area you Think that this was the and this is where the goblins start jumping on you and start scratching you those good things uh -oh, low on ammo. oh fuck vvvvvvvvv okay that's i i got lost
They will never kill you, but they're very annoying. How many times do you need to knife you, goddammit? And I'm dead, boys. Because of the zombie behind me. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I guess this direction. This is what happens when you walk into the fog. Okay, let's just walk. <laughs> Run as fast as I can. And I'm dead, boys. I'm probably dead. I cannot see nothing. I don't know how fast the zombies are, but these guys don't let me run at all. And I'm legally blind. Oh, here's the boss. Um... Where am I? That's a Boom Boom Man. Yes. But I cannot enter you. Anyone got some extra what the- And I'm dead, boys. I'm dead. <laughs> And basically, that's the map! That's a, I'm not gonna do it again. Oh, I'm still alive? No, the guy went without me! I don't have ammo. Oh, this is the... Give me this. I need the ammo. I just to open the door. Well, this is the... Generator room. This is where you get the first part. I didn't die yet. I thought I died there. I was so sure of it. I was dead there. So build the generator. That's a... Need... And also there is a hand. It can spawn here or here. Or somewhere else. Now there is a hand on the floor. So there is also a lever somewhere. Here's the lever. Build it here. Just like the mannequin, one pace by one. I sure hope I'm doing this right. And sometimes you need to kill a zombie to get. To get the zombie hand. That's where I drop my gun. Oh god! And I'm dead because two shot and zombie sneak by. <laughs> Basically, the zombie head, and you open the generator. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> it's a pain in the ass, I know. At least I got so much further than usual. I'm gonna leave it here, I'm not doing it again. No, oh, I, I did it like five times now already, and it's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna go back to the map, and I'm just gonna explain to you how this... Mission works because I'm done. Let's double check if I didn't put end screen like the last time. That's why my video was destroyed because I accidentally clicked this button somehow and then you were on that screen. That's for my streaming. If you want to check that out, it's a great plug right now to say that I stream every day, three hours a day, except for yesterday because I was going somewhere else. So, yeah. Um, basically, how this. this Easter egg works. You spawn here. You you get your you get your mannequin and you drive all the way here. Um, <clears throat> you can open the doors. You get the pack a punch room. You will see where it is, and you can also get an item that opens a hatch here to get a melee weapon to kill those goblins easier when you run through it. I think it's only free hit or whatever. You get like knuckle type things. They're very expensive, so <clears throat> it's hard to get them. <clears throat> There's also another melee weapon that's like a machete type thing. I don't know where it is. I just saw that it, it exists. Basically, go back into the car because you don't need any de any of that uh, at, at the moment. You go to the next area that was here where this thing is. 
I realized there's nothing here except for some kind of machine gun that I guess you need to combine it with the engine that we saw in the mist here that we could jump out, I guess, and another item, and that will combine to like a jet thingy. I'm not sure, because I, I didn't see of any of the tutorials of the machine gun. If I did, I totally blanked it out because they make bad guide videos at this that point of the year even to i found a video from 2020 and it was still bad no, it was a little bit better but still bad didn't it it showed like you already know the whole map and then basically you know from you go from this this area to the next area i believe it's between here this two because this is the bank area as you saw the area that the bus stopped and we opened the power source it was around here i guess uh, that the van stopped and basically open the generator with the zombie head the hand that you get on the floor or if you kill the zombie wasn't explained exactly the, you put it there crafted get the get the energy generator put it there crafted get the lever put it there crafted open the generator when you have all those pieces crafted and the, it spawns a zombie if you play cold war um, that's where I first saw the zombie and people said that there's where, where that zombie came from It's the electric dude that it's mostly electric not crystallized like in the Cold War and basically um, He spawns and you close it when he disappears or whatever Or you open it twice or whatever that actually is you open the next door to get out of there um, You get into the bus. You, I guess you can then go to the to the town where you can do this trick to save up money and that's really weird i don't know where the pack-a-punch machine is never saw saw it where people showed it or anything so i don't know where that is at all i guess it's in this town i guess but you can also go to the bank if you play solo you can go to the bank get a lot of money put it into the bank to save it for the next time you try this and basically people recommend that saving up for 40k money um, and yeah that's a lot that's very bad that they did oh, well it's easier than for doing like the easter egg and stuff but it's dumb because then that, that's the actual main objective just save up money and nah 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 i'm not gonna do that that's literally i need to play for around three hours to even enjoy the game and the problem is that i'm always too hit and it's pain in the ass oh get surrounded well good good for you you're dead and uh, pain in the ass so ne next up of that um you basically need to go come back to this tower but first you what you need it's probably that that booster thingy and you basically hit up this tower right here that's why probably the door is for that you go behind here and you hit up whatever this is you can also get the bench i don't know what the bench is for you can need to crowd with three items like the meteorite and the wood and something else a radio or something don't know where those things are exactly i think the rock is in here the bench i think you found it here and the radio i have no clue so you hit that up you also need to go back here before you hit anything up here with that and try to get stun grenades or flash grenades because you're gonna need them and there you can only get it from the box good thing you can get also a ray gun and that's the, ba the second bad thing you need to that's why you need a lot of money to get those things but it's a pain in the ass oh, let me tell you and you can also do it like in three rounds if you're if you good enough but you need a friend and that's what the ge this game is all about you need friends to play that i don't have even if i did have friends they don't have the game and i'm not gonna buy them the game fuck that shit i'm i'm i need money as well bruv so you get those those things you heat up this area you get a lot of zombies underneath that kill them with an explosive that's bullshit you have grenades so it's fine you can do that i think like 25 if i understood correctly at the tour one tutorial and basically you need to save one zombie um until you see the lightning in the sky because of that light electric zombie 
Um, and you basically, when you see the lightning, you kill the last zombie to spawn the main zombie, that's the electric one. You make him come to the tower, or underneath the tower, and you place your mannequin so and flashbang him to absorb that so he gets absorbed by that mannequin and then you need that's where you need mostly your friends is basically go on the, you need to go around the map find four lights that are flickering put the, the the mannequin down to open a portal you don't jump through the portal but I, I believe, and then go to the next one, place it that down, go to the next one, place the mannequin down, the next one, place the mannequin down. And th this is where the bullshit is. You, you can do, if you're doing solo, you need to do it like this. You need, to, you need to know exactly the location, you need to throw the flashbang, and you need four of them now. So you need to go back to the box, get two more, or four more, I don't know if you, you can stack them. It's a pain in the ass, so you need a lot of money, and it's a random chance you will get them. You maybe waste trillions of money or 500. It depends on luck and luck alone. It's bullshit. Basically, you need to stun the area and the, your area at the same time. So you need to throw across the map and then throw it next to the portal and jump through the portal then because you hear a voice line or whatever and you need to do that twice or four times i'm not sure how that it actually works and then you finish the easter egg you save the world or whatever and i don't know <laughs> i don't know exactly that's how you do the easter egg and it's bullshit all right, I'm done. I'm not gonna do do it. So I'm gonna go to the next code. That's um, Co Call of Duty Ghost. The, the code that I when I heard when it came out that everybody hated for some reason. I'm gonna do the campaign. I don't think it has zombies or anything. So I'm actually really excited because that uh, that sounds really cool. Call of Duty Ghost. Who wouldn't play that title so i'm gonna go down on that next hopefully you enjoy i'm not coming back to this game i'm deleted and reinstalled installed that other code and we're gonna see you at the code the coast so thank you and hopefully i helped you understand how this map works and see you in the next video bye <laughs>